The Japanese say there is no absolute beauty in perfect symmetry. It needs to be broken somewhere, at least a little bit, in order to shine. Accordingly, I craft my travels as round trips. A round trip is the perfect analogy to symmetry. It is the Palladio way of traveling. In the rear we can see the inverter. It's all under the seat, there's plenty of space. Not visible too easily, but it helps to keep a low profile. The battery box, it's pretty cramped. Before we had left for the big trip, I had made some electrical upgrades to the car. There is an inverter now with 600 watts for the coffee machine, an air compressor with an air tank, and a dual battery system that is charged by a solar panel. The battery setup is finished, I connected it even. Maybe really everything just works as intended. Let's see. SeaTac is showing a green light and an orange light. It's not so easy to see it down there. But so far everything looks good. After we missed the road through the Lower Zambezi National Park and arrived at the Mvu camp at Lower Zambezi just before darkness and we were quite afraid what happened to our friends. They actually just arrived now, about one hour after the sun had set. We get to be together again and at the campsite. We're the only guests actually at the campsite. We had just tackled the 05 route into Luangwa and now the Leopard Hill road and definitely are in need of some rest and relaxation. On the route 05 to South Luangwa we had encountered pockets of tsetse flies when we got out of the car to clear this less traveled path. I think it, this should be the worst because uh, this year there is not so much water apparently according to the gate keeper. We were surprised by the unusually low water levels and had actually expected much more challenging water crossings.
ist ein Vogel, der auf ihn pickt. The solitude, tranquility and abundance of game in Luangwa is fascinating. Because of the low water levels, all animals concentrate along the Luangwa river that still carries enough water. On the route to Lower Zambezi, our ways depart. Jürgen is going directly while we miss the junction and end up on the Leopard Hill Road, which after all is quite adventurous and not so bad. Eine neu planierte Straße, die recht gut zu fahren ist. Und wir werden jetzt äh, mal schauen, wie es weitergeht. Und wir sind schon am Weg hinunter zum Sambesi wieder. Arriving at the Sambesi, the first thing to do is a boat ride. So we have to pay extra now for the boating. Yeah, it's an activity. It's an activity. It's a passivity, we are sitting on the boat. We schon gedacht, das sei so günstig, oder? Das sind Hippos. On, on the island. Yeah. No. No, before. Just 40 meters from here. But the females, if you look around the eyes, it's pink. Pink, yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I say something, please? Ah. He's feeding on the, the hippogas, this. Ah. Yeah, this one. But you find that the hippos they will graze on them, but uh, in the night they walk out. Yeah. How far they walk? So they can walk for 15 kilometers away from the main river, going like close to the mountains. Really? Yeah. So that is why when the sun is almost setting, you find all the hippos are heading upstream. They're going to the highways that maybe it's there, then it goes out from there, and making that like like sort of like a highway. The must weavers that make these uh, sort of nests. Weaver for you, Yeah. The Cessna 208 caravan everywhere in Africa. You can see this plane.
Une certaine alchimie secrète Une certaine alchimie secrète Circule Libre le temps d'une nuit Sans lune Sans lune Bravez l'amour, reste notre seule lutte Bravez l'amour, reste notre seule lutte Bravez l'amour, reste notre seule lutte The sun is slowly setting and while the children keep up their chatter, the rest of us are contemplating and are deeply engulfed in ponderings over this vast river, San Pedro. Hippo, every elephant is the same and same again, every grass, every piece of water and landscape, but at the same time the changes are magnificent and the light and the slow movements of nature. We cannot get enough of it. As the light fades, the water turns into a thick soup and an oil-like surface. A brownish blue color that is only seen on African rivers. We're here in the campground in Siavonga on Lake Kariba. Very quiet place. There's no other camper currently, and we wonder where the tourists are in Zambia. This is July. Nonetheless, the rooms are booked, but uh, no campers, and also in the national parks, Lua Zambezi and South Luangwa. We have not seen so many cars and uh, from the riverside a lot of empty lodges unfortunately the river is full of crocodiles and hippos which is nice for them but it's not really good for swimming we visit the impressive kariba dam which was once the biggest hydropower project in the world and instrumental in separating the two Rhodesias that now form Zambia and Zimbabwe. So 
Fabi made it to the elusive Victoria Force. And so uh, this will be our turning point back to Malawi and Tanzania. We crossed into Malawi over the Nika Plateau, Mtsutsu and Livingstonia, then down to the lake, where we intended to see the famous chick leaks once and for all. However, it was windy again and the water visibility not really good. So we left soon for Tanzania. Thank you.